Are you looking for a new, fresh, and exciting beast mode niche fragrance? Well, then you're in the right place. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Scott Aromatico. Welcome, thank you for joining me today. Well, I am so excited. A couple days ago, I got a PR package. I've been living with this fragrance house, and I am so excited to be talking about a brand new Swedish fragrance house all the way from Sweden. So exciting, and they make some amazing fragrances. I'm talking about none other than the house, Victoria Perfumes, all the way from Sweden. This is so exciting. Guys, this house was born out of a need to come up with a new, exciting, niche fragrance house or concept. So what happened was, is there was some businessmen who were at, just like you and I in the fragrance community. They were absolutely passionate about fragrances. In fact, they were so passionate, they used to meet, kind of had their own little club and talked all things fragrances. They talked about the state of the fragrance community and what's going on with niche fragrances in particular. And the guys, they just weren't impressed. They were smelling a lot of fragrances and they said to themselves, some of these are so-called niche houses. They're only niche in name, but they're not giving the quality. Some of these houses are so expensive with no performance. You know, some of them, you know, just, just didn't do it for them, okay? They weren't very unique. They weren't coming up with their own ideas. So this house was born out of that sense, of the sense of duty to just make amazing niche fragrances and niche fragrances that have longevity, sillage, and performance. And that's what you all love. And guys, who knew? Because Sweden gives us already so many amazing things, right? Music, you think of Ava, you think of the great outdoors when you think of Sweden, right? You think of their food, they're known for their pickle herring. Guys, they're more than that. They're also great at craftsmanship and they are making some amazing fragrances. So these businessmen got together, they teamed up with master perfumer SBN JA. You guys may know him from the house of Sweetoff. And by the way, guys, if I have mispronounced that name, I apologize. I've done my best. If any of you know how to pronounce that name, please comment down below in the comments and spell it phonetically for me so next time I say the pronunciation, I won't get it wrong. Okay, but Sweet Off is a fragrance house The SVN was a perfumer for. That house has been reviewed by some greats. We had Carlos, may he rest in peace, from Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. We also had Dan from Mr. Smelly. He's reviewed that house. So some heavy hitters have reviewed SVN JA's fragrances and he is the in-house perfumer for Victoria Perfumes so we already know we're in for some great things. Okay there you have it that was my little rant so now we're going to be talking about the brand new fragrance I got. I started off at the beginning telling you this is a summer beast mode fragrance. It's fresh and exciting. What could I be talking about? Well none other than this fragrance right here. Here it is. It's called Seas One by Victoria Perfumes and I wanted to show you the box that it came in. Guys, isn't that pretty cool? I love the art on this one. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, this is a sleeve. You pull the sleeve out and the fragrance is nestled inside here, okay? All right, guys, now let's show you the bottle excited to show you this bottle it's very heavy well crafted absolutely beautiful got that green bottle i don't know if you can focus in on that label there very beautiful cap i love this cap with the word victoria on the cap and then you've got the information there on the bottom as always but how does it smell well I've lived with this fragrance for a few days and I can tell you it is as advertised. The thing is absolutely beautiful. It's unlike anything I've smelled. Well, maybe that's not completely true. Let's go ahead and spray it. I can tell you guys, you don't need a lot of sprays of this fragrance right here. Now, this is a fresh summer aquatic fragrance, but I do believe it's more than just a summer fragrance. I believe that it's so versatile that you can wear this any time of the year 
whether it be in the spring, summer, fall, and winter, and you can wear this for any occasion. You know, if you're just casual, you know, wearing maybe wearing some shorts and some flip flops or whatever the case may be, or you know, you're going to a wedding or a board meeting or anything that's special occasion when you just want a confidence booster, this will give it to you and you will get performance. But how does it smell, Scott Aromatico? Okay, get to the point. It smells absolutely fantastic. You're initially hit right away with just a beautiful freshness that's coming from the citrus. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then there's a little bit of earthiness and sweetness in here as well as the fragrance starts to develop. A little bit salty, not too much, not over the top, not like a, you know, seaweed or, you know, kind of like that fishy saltiness, but just, you know, just ever so slightly salty. There's a little bit of powderiness going on with this fragrance as well. It's fresh, it's floral, it's a little bit sweet, almost fruity-like. You know, that is slightly woody, and I'm picking up, you know, almost like this smoky tobacco-like sensation as well. Now, if I were to say this fragrance reminded me of anything, and it's ever so slightly, because this is not a clone house, and like I stated at the beginning when I was going on my rant, this is a fragrance house that dares to be different. They're not trying to clone other fragrances. They're not trying to be like other fragrance houses. They're trying to come up with new, fresh, and exciting, you know, concepts. But if I were to say this fragrance reminded me of anything, just right out of the gate, this somewhat, somewhat reminds me of Aqua de Jo Profumo because we love that freshness. It smells like it has this nice, fresh, aquatic-like sensation, but then it has that smokiness, that smoky incense vibe. And I'm kind of picking up the same concept but a little bit different, you know, a little bit more fruitiness, a little bit more florals in this one as well. And just, you know, something so warm and soothing and just almost floral with a little bit of sweetness as well. Let's go ahead and put the notes on, on the screen so we can see why I'm getting these impressions and what I'm smelling with these notes. Now, let me go ahead and put the bottle on the screen with the notes. They ship all over the world, okay? If you live in Sweden, if you spend over 130 euros, there's free shipping. If you spend less than 130 euros, then it's $7 for shipping. Now, if you're outside of Sweden and you live in the United States, when you spend around $140, you're gonna get free shipping. When you spend less than $140, you're gonna pay $38. So shipping is heavy, it costs a lot of money to ship from overseas, from Sweden. So just so you know, you know, shipping is gonna be around $38. Now, this particular fragrance, I should be able to get the free shipping because the one I'm reviewing is $204. So just so you know, right out of the gate. All right, in the top on this composition, we have Mandarin, okay? That's where some of that warming, soothing freshness is coming, up, coming from. It's coming from that top note of Mandarin. Okay, and then we've got Saffron, which is, you know, kind of, you know, somewhat earthy, you know, sweet and hay-like. And then you've got a sea salt accord. And then in the mid, we have Violet, which is where we're getting that powderiness from. Then we have Osmanthus, which is kind of fresh, floral and fruity. Oak moss, where you always get that nice freshness from. And then in the base, we have Kegela wood, which is spicy and woody. Then we have Immortelle flower, which is where we're probably picking up that smoky, you know, almost hay, maybe even tobacco-like sensation coming from that Immortelle. Immortelle is kind of an unusual note. You really gotta like it. It's It has this, you know, very smoky, you know, earthy-like sensation going on. And then you have M, which is sweet and fruity and, um, and a very good fixative. It helps fragrances last on your skin. So guys, those are the notes. I absolutely love this fragrance and I can tell you when I head off to work at seven in the morning, man, this thing was still going strong when I got home at five. And in fact, my wife was like, "That is that still the fragrance? She asked me if I reapplied and I said I did not. And uh, people at work were smelling me. You know, I, I go to a lot of job sites and a lot of people will come up and ask me what I'm wearing. And this one is definitely a crowd pleaser and a head turner. There's just something so fresh and aquatic about this fragrance. Even though there's really not a lot of aquatic notes listed in here, it's just, it's got this nice refreshing feeling that's so nice. You've got that sea salt accord in here, very powdery, very, very floral and fruity. I absolutely love this one. And then you're getting a, a nice smokiness coming from that Immortelle. And there's just something so earthy honey like you know almost like like hay and that's coming from the immortelle and coming from the saffron this fragrance is so so nice it's unlike anything i've smelled now i'm kind of contradicting myself because i said it reminds me it reminds me 
of Aqua de Gel Profumo, but you know, side by side, they're totally different. In fact, I did a test in the house. I tested it with, with a bunch of people in the family and it, it, it's just got some similarities, but it is not the same. So I don't want you to think this is a clone house to any stretch of the imagination, but this is a great fragrance. It goes all day. And like I said, it's perfect for this summer because it's just so fresh. But again, it's versatile enough to wear all year around. It's that good. Trust me, it's well blended. It's not one of these fragrance houses where when you sniff it, you smell the, you know, the um, perfumer's alcohol right away or anything like that. You know, everything is working together in one accord. It's really, really nice. Great fragrance. I'm glad I have it in my collection and it's masterfully done. So well done to the perfumer of this fragrance because it is absolutely amazing. And uh, I think Swedish perfumery is about to be on the map. There's a lot of great Swedish perfume houses and this is absolutely one of them, guys. So definitely check this out. Now, if you don't wanna get a big bottle like this, one of the things that also came in, in my package was these two kits right here. And each of these has five different samples. I'll show you real quick. I love this presentation, just so absolutely so cool. And each of these has different samples in here like this. So if you want to test it out, you know, you don't want to, you know, invest in a large amount of money. Just know that you have to spend that certain amount of money to get the free shipping. But those of you in Sweden aren't going to pay as much anyways. But guys, really, really cool fragrance house. Love the presentation. I love the bottle and I love the way that this particular fragrance works. And I've got two of these to go through and there's like, there's 10 different kinds in this box guys so i'm really excited to dive into this fragrance house but this is a good way to test out each of these fragrances you know always test out because you know what works on my skin might not work on you and guys these are my honest opinions okay i know this is a pr package i know they sent it to me but guys i'm only gonna and you you have no idea how many fragrances are sent to me that i don't even review i just review the ones that i like and so this one is being reviewed because i love it it's worth it it smells amazing and I want to shine some light on the Swedish perfume houses because they're doing some amazing things. But guys, definitely check out this discovery set because it's really, really good. And like I said, great presentation. Okay, so that was cool. Thank you so much for including these in with my fragrance. I am so excited to dive in. Guys, let me know down below if you'd like to see me maybe go over these. I, maybe I could do a live or I can just do a video or something. Comment down below which, if you'd like to see me talk about some of the fragrances that are in here and shine some more light on them. Who knows, maybe I could actually get the perfumer or maybe I can get you know, the creator of the house. Maybe we can do a live together. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. And maybe we can go over these with you guys on a live together and talk more about it. And I can give my first impressions live. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. But anyways, guys, there you have it. I've talked long enough. This is the brand new fragrance house from Sweden, the Swedish fragrance house called Victoria Perfumes. And today I talked about Ramesses One. This is the perfect summer freshie and it is beast mode. Perfect for this time of year. If you're looking for something fresh, a little bit smoky, floral, fruity, just blended to perfection. Look no further than this fragrance right here called Ramesses One by Victoria Perfumes. You guys are gonna love it. All right, guys, let me know down below if you've tried anything from Victoria Perfumes or in general, if you've tried any fragrances from Sweden, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. If you got any value from this video today whatsoever, please leave a thumbs up. Guys, come on and be a part of my fragrance family. It doesn't cost you anything. Just hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notifications off to the side. And I cannot wait till I see you into the next video. This is Scott Aromatico, out.